Hi, I'm Christopher Borgli. I'm a Norwegian filmmaker from Oslo. Uh, and we are in Oslo today and I'm gonna answer some questions uh, that I've received on email. Um, and in respect of your time, I'm gonna try to answer them as brief as possible. question about Oslo, I feel that Oslo is as important for my work as Copenhagen would be if I lived in Copenhagen. Um, it hasn't given me anything significant that I couldn't get anywhere else, but I do feel that I have to use my real life experience as material for my work. So it has a natural, it has a natural place in my, in my work. But yeah. I'm reading that I got around six questions here about work that's like more than three or four years old and I feel that my, my whole stream of consciousness and my mindset is so changed that it's hard to uh, dip into my mindset back then and answer these questions about why I did this or why I did that. But um, in a general term, I feel that any creative work is the most dominating factor is uh, the time it's being made in and that it's a reaction to, to uh, traditions in whatever format you're working in. I think my mindset was I didn't really like music videos and I had a more general film interest so I tried to find ways to uh, make films that benefited me as a director and writer more than I was trying to benefit the uh, artist or the band. I was trying to make my own short films and I just saw that uh, music videos had a opportunity to tell these stories in a wider, to a wider audience. But I don't really relate to them anymore as I feel music videos are very, they're so temporary, they're, they live and die within a year. And it's even boring me to talk about these older works. So I'm just doing an interview. So. Uh, det er Mount Everest. Det er liksom et sånn, på en måte et bilde for meg på alle de tingene som er, jeg vet ikke, alle tingene som jeg har liksom prøvd å få, få i stand, da, men som ikke har funket helt. Da. Sånn som vi, kanskje beste eksempel er jo liksom musikken og sånn, som er det å sysle med og liksom føle at jeg har fått det til den forstanden at jeg liksom har fått laga kul musikk og liksom sånn. Da. Jeg vet ikke, det bare skjer ut som at det er noen som bryr seg om det liksom. What Everest? Det er, det er bare oppsamling av alle de tingene som bare ikke har funket for meg, sånn som jeg trodde at jeg skulle gjøre, da. What Everest was a short film idea, even prior to involving Todd Terje. And it was spawned out of like, a real-life experience of me not being very creative and becoming fearful of what if my career ends now at 27. How will I lead the rest of my life? How will I identify myself? I took that fear and created a script uh, about a character who deals with this problem of just not being able to create anything anymore. He's not become the person that he wanted to be and how he deals with it. I say, it's your shoe, jeg føler jo liksom litt at jeg ikke gidder å drive og stress med sånn her nå skal jeg få til å bli han som lager de kule tingene liksom. Jeg har liksom på en måte 
Gi du opp til en litt, da, den delen der. The person in whateverest has written a fiction about his life that he's totally satisfied with his life now, even though he didn't become the person he wanted to be. And then my approach was I wanted to use the documentary as a way of looking at this fiction of life in a, in a realistic manner and by placing our camera in his fiction of life we kind of changed his fiction we saw that or yeah my approach to it was that I wanted to look at this fiction of life like the fiction he has written of being satisfied with the life he has this denial of of life or <sighs> god damn it <laughs> next question <laughs> I think there was a natural um, progression in in the notion that my music videos were <laughs> my music videos were uh, short films, and then with whatever I took the step in into the direction of making a short film instead of a music video, and then with Real Life X, by just continued exploring like uh, how this music and um, a certain event in the life connects. We are not in there. We the We Hello? Bare, hello? Bare, we are not in there. I heard about this band who released an album and it the radio station was supposed to play one track from the album and then there was uh, an earthquake uh, and the, the staff of the radio station uh, left the building and um, the album just kept playing on repeat and it became the soundtrack for this event and I felt that that was an interesting notion. Um, incorporating music into an event in reality and I thought that um, I was going to focus on a certain event. Kanye West, uh, Lady Gaga, Summermix, uh, Lindström. Lindström, hör du det? Lindström, vem är det? Är han svenske? Nej, jag tror det är sån Oslo DJ type. By accident uh, they they find a uh, Lindström CD. Han hade sån fint album cover för ett par år sedan, sån svartvit bild av att han där. Där är det. Fancy. Uh, fancy. And play in the track and it becomes the soundtrack for them for this event that if they listen to this song in 10 years they're going to remember the event. And the link between visuals and music is, is also uh, talked about in the film. They talk about Lindstrom and one of the girls doesn't know who Lindstrom is and she explains who he is by explaining how his album cover looks like. Um, and I think that, that we have these visual ways of remembering uh, even music, so that was uh, an exploration of, of that. In the, um, in the latest Young Dreams video I did, I also played with the notion of incorporating the actual song into the story of the video. Um, so instead of just creating a, uh, a mood that plays as a background for the music, I tried rather to look at how music is a part of my life and using my, my real life as uh, the basis for this, this project and, and created a, a story that revolves around um, 
how we use music in the fiction of our real life. And um, I thought it was also funny to see how we could try to um, not have the music as uh, a film score, but as digestive as we listen to the music as the character listens to the music. And it kind of uh, changes the way that we hear the music. We hear it through his ears. And, and that, was, that was what I wanted to do with that video. Oscar gick med en konstant och dålig samvittighet som växte sig exponentiellt större för vart år och sitt samtidiga karriärmässiga ståsted. Han prövade stadigt att associera sig med mest möjliga arbete samtidigt som det växte en medvetenhet om att hans ofrivilliga trang för att skapa grundade till ett önskan om att bli likt. Detta var det motiverande i förhållande till en deadline som närmade sig. So, yeah, with my music video career, I guess I've gone from making narrative music videos to making short films in collaboration with artists to now finally uh, making short films in the classical term and um, that's it's my um, love for cinema that got me into making films in the first place and right now I'm working on two different feature film scripts uh, and uh, hopefully you'll see a feature in the future by me we'll see Thank you for your time. And um yeah. I don't know. Something. <laughs>